Hello Virgo, how are you guys doing today? Today's tarot reading is about the energy surrounding you for the month of February. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you don't know what those different signs are, don't hesitate to ask down in the comments. I will lead you to the information you need. So let's get into this tarot reading. Today I am using my Enchanted Map Oracle deck as well as my Rider Tarot. So what are the energies surrounding Virgo for February? Tower. A lot of changes coming about. For many different zodiac signs, many different people, and it's, I'm feeling it's all very emotional. This isn't a big catastrophic change. This is something you need and have almost asked for. Ten of Wands and the King of Cups. Yeah. This is you realizing that this is not your burden to carry. You don't need to be carrying all ten wands. You don't need to be carrying them all at the same time or they are not even yours to begin with. This is about stepping out of this energy about needing to do it all and needing to please everyone and stepping into this King of Cups energy and working to please yourself. Thank you. So let's see, we have the Three of Cups and then the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this Five of Pentacles goes with this Ten of Wands really well because this Five of Pentacles is about realizing the opportunities in front of you and being willing to ask for help. And I feel like your past energy or the energy that you're stepping out of for February is going to be realizing that you don't have to do it all yourself and that you can ask for help, that you can reach out to your community. Celebrate what you can do as a community. Celebrate what you can do when you ask help, when you ask for help from others, when you ask for companionship and love and are willing to receive that. So often we ask for help, but we're not actually willing to receive the help. We just kind of put it out there because we feel like that's what we need to do. But it's about changing our mindset and realizing that I am deserving of help if I need it. The sacred pool, this is about reflection and... It's about reflection on a very deep, emotional, personal level. This is delving deep within your psyche and understanding why you feel the need to carry this burden with you. I feel like this reflection into this sacred pool is going to what be what is causing this tower moment to occur. And again, I don't think that this tower moment is anything, yeah, anything overly negative. This tower moment is you realizing that you don't have to put up with this. It's, it's you realizing that these peaks of joy, this transformation to become this butterfly is yours. This reflection in this sacred pool will lead to this peak of peaks of joy. Um, but it, it, it is going to be a bit of a crumbling, a bit of a tower moment. Um, and it's also saying, like, this isn't a rush, okay? 
we have the slow and steady card, but then we also have the card of details. Details. It is understanding that this is a process and that it's not going to happen overnight. We don't change, we don't evolve, we don't, you know, these are not things that happen overnight. They happen in a long run. But that doesn't mean that this energy, this King of Cups energy is not within you. It just means that there is things you need to do to get there. It's about not letting go of the details of your dreams, but also not ignoring what feels right to you in the moment. And it's about living in that moment. It's about understanding those little details and those little things in every moment that bring you joy. It's about being mindful of the fresh air hitting your face as you're walking to the bus stop. It is about walking through the grocery store and appreciating the smell of the fresh apples. These little details in life that bring you joy. And I mean, those don't have to be the things that bring you joy. Um, you know, it could even be, you know, the sound of your wallet opening as you go to have, like, as you go to make a purchase or the feel of sliding out the money or your credit card or whatever it is. It's those little things that bring you joy, that make your soul smile. Um, it's about embracing those little things so that you don't feel burdened by life, by the past, by the future. Because all we have is the present moment and sure we have to make decisions that will affect our future. But ultimately, it's about living in this moment and realizing that we can't control the future. But we can control the now and we can control how we perceive the now. And it's in those tiny little details and in those little decisions that we make that will help us move forward. When we can see those little things as joy then we are slowly and steadily breaking down this tower of frustration, of burden, of lack, and reaching into this energy, this King of Cups energy, this Three of Cups energy, this joy, fulfillment, passion, beauty, abundance. You are deserving of this. And it's time to see that in your reflection. It's time to see that, yes, you are deserving of that you are deserving of the little details of all the little things that you want could even be the joy of listening to a page turn as you're reading your favorite book or the feel of a book in your hands I'm an avid book reader I love books let me know what your favorite book is down in the comments <laughs> So that is my message for you, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Love, light, and happiness to all of you. Have a fantastic day. Bye.